بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In my one video, I discussed the preparation of molar solution of sodium hydroxide in 1000 milliliters. But if we need only 100 milliliters instead of 1000 milliliters, then it is better to make 100 milliliters solution rather than 1000 milliliters to reduce wastage of chemicals. For example, if we want to prepare 1000 milliliters of one molar solution of sodium hydroxide, multiple molar mass of sodium hydroxide which is 40 by 1 as we want to prepare one molar solution the answer will be 40 take 40 gram of sodium hydroxide in beaker dissolve it in little water then add in 1000 milliliters measuring flask and dilute the solution up to 1000 milliliters this will be one molar solution of sodium hydroxide in 1000 milliliters To prepare 100 milliliters solution of sodium hydroxide instead of 1000 milliliters, some calculations will be needed. Let's move towards the calculations. The calculations consists of four steps. Step 1. 1000 milliliters solution contains quantity of sodium hydroxide as 40 grams, which is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Step 2. 1 milliliter of solution contains sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 divided by 1000. Step 3. 100 milliliter solution contains sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 divided by 1000 and then multiply the answer with 100. If you want to prepare 250 milliliters of solution then put 250 in calculations instead of 100. If you want to prepare 500 milliliters of solution then put 500 in calculations instead of 100, and so on, according to requirement. The answer is 4 grams. Step 4. Multiply the coming number, which is 4 in this case by 1, as we want to prepare 1 molar solution in 100 milliliters. After calculations we get 4 grams. Dissolve 4 grams of sodium hydroxide in little water. Then add the solution in measuring flask. And dilute the solution up to 100 milliliters. This will also be 1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide but in 100 milliliters. You can see that in case of 1000 milliliters of 1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. You take 40 grams of sodium hydroxide and then after dissolving in water dilute the solution up to 1000 milliliters. But in case of 100 milliliters of 1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide, you should take 4 gram of sodium hydroxide, dissolve it in water and dilute the solution up to 100 milliliters. So if you need only 100 milliliters in experiment you just need 4 grams of sodium hydroxide for preparation of 1 molar solution, and hence wastage of chemical will be reduced. Similarly to prepare 250 milliliters of 1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide, again follow that 4 steps. 1000 milliliters solution contains quantity of sodium hydroxide as 40 grams, which is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. 1 milliliter of solution contains sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 divided by 1000 grams. 250 milliliters solution contains sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 divided by 1000 and then multiply the answer with 250. The answer is 10 grams. Multiply the coming number by molarity which is 1 in this case, as we want to prepare one molar solution in 250 milliliters. After calculations we get 10 grams. Dissolve 10 grams of sodium hydroxide in little water, and dilute the solution up to 250 milliliters. This will also be one molar solution of sodium hydroxide but in 250 milliliters. Repeat the following steps every time. If you want to prepare molar solution of sodium hydroxide, but volume less than 1000 milliliters. Let's prepare 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide in 500 milliliters. 
Firstly we need the calculations to find out the mass required for preparation of 0.1 molar solution in 500 milliliters. 1000 milliliters solution contains quantity of sodium hydroxide as 40 grams. Which is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? 1 milliliter of solution contains sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 divided by 1000 grams. 500 milliliters solution contains sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 divided by 1000 and then multiply the answer with 500. The answer is 20 grams. Multiply the coming number, which is 20 in this case by 0.1, as we want to prepare 0.1 molar solution in 500 milliliters. After calculations we get 2 grams. To prepare 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide in 500 milliliters, the apparatus required are Weight balance Beaker Sodium hydroxide Distilled water Stirrer Spatula Funnel And measuring flask Turn the weight balance on. Place the beaker on weight balance. When the beaker is placed on weight balance, it display its weight. Adjust the weight by using tear button. Now the weight of beaker is appeared as zero. Take 2 gram of sodium hydroxide in beaker using spatula. Just like that. Pour some distilled water from beaker to measuring cylinder. Add the measured water into beaker having sodium hydroxide in it. Start stirring the solution using a stirrer. Stirrer the solution continuously. Till all the sodium hydroxide completely dissolve in water. Open the flask. Place the filter paper on funnel. Now place it on measuring flask. Pour the sodium hydroxide solution in measuring flask. Add more water. If necessary up to the mark. Store the solution for further use. This will 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide in 500 milliliters. Let's revise that four steps again. Step 1. 1000 milliliters solution contains quantity of sodium hydroxide as 40 grams. Which is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? Step 2. 1 milliliter of solution contains sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 divided by 1000 grams. Step 3. 100 milliliter solution contains sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 divided by 1000 and then multiply the answer with 100. This 100 can be replaced by any number like 200. 250. 500. 750. According to requirement. Step 4. Multiply the coming number by given molarity. Can you prepare these solution of sodium hydroxide now? How much sodium hydroxide is required to prepare 200 milliliters of of 1.2 molar solution? The answer is 9.6 gram. How to prepare 750 milliliters of 1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide? Dissolve 30 gram of sodium hydroxide in water and dilute the solution up to 750 milliliters. This is all about preparation of molar solutions of sodium hydroxide if we need volume of solution less than 1000 milliliters. Hope you understand it. For more videos, like share and subscribe to my channel till then take care and thank you